Hi and welcome back to another Mr. Talbot Maths video and this week's problem is working out the area of this square. So as you can see there's a red line uh, inside the square that's got a length of 1, then there's a perpendicular line to that with a length of 2 and then another perpendicular line that goes to the opposite corner of that square with a length of 3. Can you solve this problem? If you want to pause the video now and have a go at yourself please do and uh, when you've got your solution please share your uh, working out in the comments below because I very much appreciate and I very much enjoy looking through other people's solutions, learning new methods, learning from each other. So without further ado I'm going to go through and show you my solution to this problem now. So the first thing that you would want to do, I've, I've obviously tried a few different ideas beforehand and you will need to play around with it a little bit to see what you can do, um, but one method that I found that was successful was introducing this line that goes from corner to corner. Okay. Now the reason why that's successful is because what it did is it allowed me to um, not introduce or generate, that's not the right word, but it gave me rather two similar triangles. So this, because they're vertically opposite, those two angles are the same, and then because they're right angle triangles, you've got your right angle, we've got one angle that's the same, so this remaining angle must also be the same. Now that means that we've got similar triangles. So if we do a quick sketch of some right angle triangles and we will put our measurements on, so actually I'll draw that the other way around just to make it look a bit nicer uh, and so I'm drawing this one, the one with a length of one on the bottom, so just a quick sketch, doesn't need to be perfect because it's just a sketch, so I've got my length of one there, now what I really want to do is be able to work out this diagonal, if I can work out the blue length for each of these similar triangles um, then I can use Pythagoras to work out the diagonal and then I can use that diagonal to then work out the area of my square. Now that's not a perfectly straight line, obviously it's a sketch, but that would be the three here and then I've got my right angle. Now be careful because this isn't two, uh, we need to introduce another variable here. So let's call this bit from Q to the intersection where those lines cross, we'll call that X and then we'll make from where those lines cross to P, we'll call that two minus X because the whole blue line is two. So we've got x and we've got 2 minus x. Okay, so using that we've got a base that's 1, base that's 3. Our scale factor here is going to be times by 3. And so we do the same with our x. So x times by 3, because these are similar triangles, is equal to 2 minus x. So 3x is equal to 2 minus x. A little bit of rearranging, add x to both sides, we're going to get 4x is equal to 2. Divide by 4 on both sides and you get x is equal to 2 over 4, which is the same as a half. So we've got here x is equal to 1 half and 2 minus x would then be equal to 3 over 2. Because 2 minus half is 3 over 2. Then what we're going to do, like I said earlier, is use Pythagoras, so I'm going to do... Uh, the length of this part here, which is 3 squared, add 3 over 2 squared, square root it, and if we do that, what we get is 3 squared, add 3 over 2 squared, we get 3 root 5 over 2. Now it's always best uh, to leave it in an exact form until we've got to our final answer, and if we do the same here, so this side here is going to be 1 squared, add a half squared and square root it. And that leaves us with, uh, I believe, root 5 over 2. Just we'll double check quickly. Yep, root 5 over 2. So the full length of the diagonal, uh, let's call it BD, is equal to 3 root 5 over 2. Add root 5 over 2 gives you 4 root 5 over 2, which is equal to 2 root 5. Now, from there we've got the length of the diagonal. If we call the side length of our square S, okay, so side length of the square is S. Now what we're looking for really, the area of the square is S squared, um, but we can get to that in a couple of different ways. Now I'm aware of 
the way of finding the area of a square just using the diagonals, but I'm going to show us, um, just for people that aren't aware, how you would do it otherwise. So, we got that um, the square root using Pythagoras, because we've got a right angle here, s squared, square root of s um, squared plus s squared is equal to um, our diagonal, which is 2 root 5. If we square both sides here, um, actually what I'll do first is I'll uh, simplify my s squared. So 2s squared, square root of 2s squared is equal to 2 root 5. And then if we square both sides, we're going to get uh, 2s squared is equal to 20. Divide by 2 on both sides and we get s squared is equal to 10. Now, s squared is the area of the square, because s times s, base times perpendicular height. So that's what we want, and it's just going to be units squared, whatever the units are. So that is the answer, 10 units squared. If you like this video, then there should be plenty more videos just up here. Uh, hopefully it's, it's here, that's where it should be, the one that you want to watch next. Okay, see you in the